Alright everyone, this is going to be a fun one. So, the Aussie EX Solo. So, first in my team is Lindworm. Second is going to be Asuka and Vito. And third is regular Verosa. Fourth is Vito himself. And last but not least, Verosa Evil Eye. Alright, so here we go with this train wreck. Alright, so let's talk about this and get it over with so I can rant. So Druid the Aussie is in the Magic Row is grounded and is Yotun. His action skill hits a random three random enemies, one with fire attack, magic attack, one with water magic attack, and another with earth magic attack that each do a 20% damage up against Aesir. His auto skill hits all players with Earth's magic attack and stone chain for three turns that affects humans and Therians and all stats excluding HP 20% down for three turns so that's a pretty heavy debuff. And also the Abyss, feel, Abyss Veil Leaf so it helps to use like Vito or Surtur can work, or the best one is Ardent Atricia. Alright, next is going to be the Leaf Filzy, which is in the Magic Row, is Airborne and is Beast. So, his auto skill on the first HP bar hits the two enemies with the lowest HP with 10%, HP 10% down for one turn. So, yeah, get rid of him. And then also hits the back enemy row with earth magic damage. And on the second and third HP bar does the same thing. Two enemies with the lowest HP. Health 10% down for one turn. And hits the back enemy row with um, earth magic attack as well as wind chain. So wind chain can be a pain. Next we got the leaf hawk which is in the range throw is airborne and is beast. Um, his auto skill to his front ally, so he gives Thiazi um, attack, magic attack barrier, and shadow clone for three turns. I also hit your front enemy row with earth attack damage and petrify for three turns, which only affects Aesir, humans, and Therian. Alright, so now it's just time to talk here, so... The reason I barely beat this fight by the skin of my teeth, okay? You the that wind chain on the second and third bar kept hitting will hit say my evil Ivorosa pretty hard and basically CC her to the point where she can't do anything, so you've gotta kinda time it her skill to just write and hope that it doesn't get interrupted long enough for you to get fire ring off um, what also is hurting me in this is that Verosa and Asuka and Vito of mine are not fully awakened or barely awakened at all so as you can see like here I'm saving my I like to do the limit break right for right at the beginning of the thing because it does quite a bit of damage to the Filzy and the Hawk but I try to burst down the Filzy and the Hawk right at the beginning of each um, HP bar because to get rid of that wind chain so my Verosa can actually do something because that's how I'm uh, that's how I'm healing. But then, as you're gonna see in a minute, it you can still get one shot by Theazi if you're not careful. If all three of his randoms happen to hit the same person and they also have all these debuffs. As you can see, my so my uh, getting bad with names now. Lindworm and a and uh, Vito himself are debuffed pretty heavy, and they're gonna get hard, and they're going to go bye bye. So 
I'd say both Verosas together are fairly strong. They're really OP together, but with my Evil Eye Verosa kept getting wind chained and also from Thiazzi's auto skill, which is Stone Chain. She's getting hit with two CCs, so yeah. I lost my Lindworm there, and there just went Veto, but it's still a clear. Clear is a clear. It doesn't matter. I don't care if they get die or not. Alright, come on. Another hit here. It's like they're just kind of waiting around. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Otherwise, I don't really like to upload videos where my characters die, but this was actually my first clear, and I get the congratulations screen, so that's why I'm uploading this one. There you go. Verosa did the most. And let this load up. See, here we go. Got my uh, five star Senna here. As well as my congratulations screen. So, thank you for watching that train wreck of a video.